Holder from Mexico City, specifically Coyoacan. We got it at a market in Coyoacan. And then we have a little purse and jacket holder here. And this is from World Market. So I just keep all my purses here and then I know some of those leashes on it. So because we're in the studio, we actually don't have an actual closet. We have a storage closet right outside our apartment. So we kind of turned this little area into a closet. Now this is from Ikea, so if you're in a studio and you need something to kind of replicate a closet or something to hang up your clothes on, really highly recommend this. Chancey keeps a lot of his clothes in his storage room because that's kind of like his man cave. He has like a surfboard and jiu-jitsu stuff and like some of his clothes. And then I also keep our little basket that we take to the farmer's market. A lot of you guys asked where this is from, and this is actually from the Food 52 website. I'll also put uh, the actual brand it's from, and we keep our little like reusable bags in there as well. Okay, so to the left over here, we have our washer dryer. A lot of apartments don't have that, so we're really happy to have our own washer dryer in our home. It just makes them so much more convenient. We also keep a lot of our cleaning supplies up there, as well as toilet paper and paper towels. So to the right, we have our bathroom, which I think is pretty spacious, and we really like our bathroom. Um, here, I wanted to keep it pretty neutral with a little pop of color, so the pop of color you see is blue. We have a blue towel here, as well as a blue little rug. And then we just have a few crystals in here, a candle, some plants. Yeah, we really like our, our bathroom. It's pretty spacious. Okay, so moving out of the bathroom, we fall right into the kitchen, which is my favorite part of the studio. I love that the kitchen is really big and open. A lot of apartments have kind of like separated kitchens that are kind of like tiny little hallways. So what caught my eye in this place was the big open kitchen. So starting here, we have our refrigerator. And I'm going to be doing a refrigerator tour really soon. And then we have a lot of cabinet space, which is really great too. Here we have all of our drinkware and dining ware. So like our bowls, our plates, our mugs. We have some travel mugs up there. Up here we have some bowls, mixing bowls, and then some strainers, nothing too exciting. And then above, as you guys can see, we tried to add as many plants as we could. The good thing about our space is that we have really high ceilings so we can fit a lot of plants up there. We also get a lot of natural light, which is so key for plants to thrive. So moving forward to our kitchen countertops. I love all the space we have um, on our kitchen countertops. So here we have our utensils are all out. These are from World Market. I love like the wooden feel it has to it. Then we have our paper towel holder that is also from World Market. And then we have some reusable straws. These are from Amazon, they come in silver gold and these are the copper ones. Um, so here is Chinsey's like contraption. What is it, babe? It's a pour over coffee maker. Yeah, so a lot of you guys ask about this and this is from Amazon, correct? Mm -hmm. And I believe they're sold separately, so I'll link both of those down below. And then we also have a little hand frother. This is by the brand Bada, but I'll link that below. I actually got this one as a gift. And then we have uh, Chansey's Coffee out. This is from Thrive Market. We use the hazelnut organic co uh, ground coffee. Some sugar cubes, we just like how they look. And Chansey actually uses them in cocktails. 
And then we have some chai tea, which is super delicious, and I got it from a brand called T2. Now this little plant here, this is an aloe plant, and I just love the look of it. It goes perfect in the kitchen. The little pot itself is from a little store in Ocean Beach called Botanica. And then these little cutting boards are from Home Goods. Got some dish soap from Home Goods as well. All of these wooden spoons are just a mix from different places. Some salt on the counter, as always. This little cute owl is from Anthropology, and it's actually a spoon rest. And then we just have our stove, as well as our oven. And then because everything was white, all the appliances are white, as well as our um, microwave, I decided to get matching white toaster oven and also a little tea kettle. So the only downfall to this kitchen is that there was no island. And I really wanted an island so I can entertain and also have more kitchen space when I'm cooking. So I was on a mission to find the perfect island and I found this one. This is more like a high table, but we use it as an island. Um, to entertain with friends and then I also cook on it as well. So this is from Ikea. We absolutely love it. Tansy and I were so excited to find it. I'm putting my tea down. Um, so these little stools are from Ikea as well. The whole set was really affordable. It's pretty easy to put together. In the center of our table we have this little kind of like cheese board round um, centerpiece. This is from Home Goods. The candle that we have lit right now it smells so good and it's from Anthropology. and then we have a little rose quartz crystal holder I got as a gift from a friend and then we have some dried flowers here these are actually this is dried lavender and it smells really good so that is our kitchen actually one more thing below this table here we have another rug this rug is from Ikea as well and we really liked it so the thing that finishes up our kitchen is this here, and this is our pantry. I'll give you guys a little sneak peek, but we are going to be doing a little pantry tour soon. It's kind of messy, so don't look too long, but we have our pantry in there. We will be doing a pantry tour very soon. So coming out of our kitchen, we have our bar cart, but do you want to show the bar cart? Sure. Okay, so Chancy really loves our bar cart, so I'm going to have him show you guys. All right, Chance is gonna show us the bar cart. So this is our bar cart. We're pretty, pretty proud of it now. We've been working <laughs> on it for quite some time. I'll start off with the top and work my way down. Okay. So the first thing is our Berkey water filter. It has a dual water filter inside. And what's cool about the Berkey, this one's a gallon and a half. And you only have to change the filter about once every two years, which is really good because we can just fill it up with tap water and it filters it really well. We have it sitting on a plant stand actually. So we bought this plant stand that it's sitting on at Home Goods. We have a nice little cocktail book we got off of Amazon with little recipes. We've got our mint. We got uh, another plant right here. This is aloe. Another aloe. We got all these fun little gadgets I got off Amazon. A little mixing spoon, a muddler to make little drinks out of the mint. We have, you know, some nice, beautiful straws here. A nice bottle of tequila that Alexa's dad got us. Look at this thing. And then we got our, you know, all of our shakers and stuff. Alexa's friend, one of her best friends actually got us a lot of this stuff from uh, Target. I bought some of the other stuff, mainly off Amazon, like little strainers and stuff for making drinks. Taking you down to the second floor, all of our alcohol. We got quite the selection now. We got whiskey, peanut butter whiskey. Can you believe that? It smells just like peanut butter. It's a local brand here in San Diego, actually. Screwball, peanut butter whiskey. We got some tequila, vodka, in the back have some local gin. Oh, we have, in the back, you can see, we got almond milk Baileys. That's one of Alexa's favorites. We got a little ice box over here. Oh, it's got some in here, I didn't even know. Little mini shots, you know, feeling funky fresh. <laughs> and then bringing you down to the base level, we got all of our glassware we actually got off Amazon. We got these nice highball glass cups for, uh, you know, mixed drinks and of whatever kind you want. We got some nice whiskey glasses, they have a nice thick bottom. And we got Topo Chico, favorite mineral water. Pretty good. Oh, and we have this little fun tequila game that Alexis' parents brought back from Mexico. 
Got tequila half shot, tequila full shot, and other stuff that I have no clue what it is. But yeah, pretty cool. That's our bar car. Oh, I forgot. We have a plant right next to it. Beautiful plant. And yeah, it's our bar cart. Where's our bar cart from? Our bar cart itself is from Home Goods. It's a nice little roll. You can move it around and so yeah. Cool. Pretty cool. Thanks, babe. Yeah. <laughs> okay, moving on from the bar cart, we have our dining area. The thing I like about our apartment is that it's not just a rectangle, it actually has this little area that was for a dining area. So we have our dining table here. It's pretty small, but it's perfect for just us two. This dining table and the chairs are from Living Spaces. They're really pretty. And then on the dining table, we have a little mat, a woven mat that is from Pigment here in San Diego. Here we have our little vase with dried flowers. The vase is from Target and the dried flowers are from a little shop in La Mesa. And then to this little corner in our dining area, we have my workspace. Because I do use this table here as a desk as well for work. Since I do work from home, so I have my little calendar here and then kind of like a little shelving thing that is on wheels. So on the top we have a vase, this is from Target as well, um, with some dried eucalyptus, a candle, crystal, a little frame, and then here I keep a lot of my camera equipment, and below I keep some of my little bowls that I use frequently for food photography, and then also for my food photography, I have my little food photography board, some tripods, and that's pretty much all my work stuff. I keep it pretty simple. I don't have too many props. I stick to the same things pretty much for all my photos. And then the last thing I wanted to show you guys here is my little circle mirror that I absolutely adore. It is from World Market, of course. Um, and yeah, we really like this. And that is pretty much our dining area. Um, and then from here, we can actually access the balcony. Okay, welcome to our balcony. So in the corner we have a beautiful fig tree. Honestly, it still needs a little bit more time to thrive and get bigger. Chancey's parents gifted it to us and we're so grateful. We can't wait to get fruit in the summer. And then we have a little patio set that my parents gifted to us and it is from Amazon. We absolutely love it. And we decided to keep it pretty simple on the balcony. We added a lot of plants, in particular succulents because succulents do really well outside. A few of the succulents are from farmers markets and then some of them were gifted to us as a housewarming gift. So our balcony also has these awesome big glass sliding doors that lead right into our living room. We really wanted a living room that was cozy and comfy and inviting and so I'm really happy with how it all came out. I try to keep it pretty neutral nothing too crazy but I really like cream colors with a tiny bit of pop of colors so the color that you see here is rust orange and a little bit of like mustard yellow and then the only other colors that are in the living room are from the plants in our living room as well as a few crystals so we have our couch here which is so comfy I wish you guys could all sit on it it is from Living Spaces. Um, and then the pillows here are all from World Market. And then that blanket on the end is from Home Goods as well. And then back to over here, this lamp is from Target. We really like it. Um, and yeah, we think it fits in well. Moving on to our coffee table. This coffee table is from World Market. And then on top we have some plants. We have Chancey's favorite plant of the house, and then we have a fern, a little geode crystal, a huge selenite, and then below we actually have this Mexico book. It's actually really beautiful. We have some Palo Santo, and then a beautiful candle that is from Anthropology. Here we have a little under the TV shelf. We got this from Home Goods as well. We have some of our books here some decor, some selenites, rose quartz, and then a ton of plants. Um, a lot of these plants are from either the farmer's market, the North Park Nursery. Then we have our gigantic TV that is on a mount. We like having it on a mount because it can move um, any way we want. So if we're in bed, we can watch the TV in bed. And then the rug that we're standing on is also from World Market. 
It's pretty soft. We wanted something that was really comfy and soft. So this one does the job. We really like it. And then moving on over to the other side of the living room, we have my beloved bamboo style chair that is from World Market. It is actually pretty comfy. It's so cute and I love the little element it gives to the living room. And then the pillows are from World Market as well. And then right outside our living room area, we have this little Moroccan cushion chair that we put Chansey's guitar on. So it's kind of like a little guitar stand now and it's also just another piece of decor as well. This is our living room. We love it. It is super comfy and feels complete. So the last part of our studio apartment is our bedroom that is right behind me. Because this is a studio, we initially thought we'd want a room divider, but we actually kind of like the feel of having everything together all in one, and so this is how we set it up. So to separate it, we have this mirror here that is from World Market. We absolutely love it. It matches our circle mirror perfectly. And then we have our little snake plant next to it. This girl is thriving. Snake plants are actually the best. Like They're so easy to take care of, and I highly recommend them. So here's our gigantic bed. We do have a king size bed, but it fits, so we're really happy with it. The actual mattress itself is from Avocado Mattresses, and it's the vegan one, of course, made with zero wool. It's so comfortable, you guys, and 100% worth it. So the bed spread itself is from Target, and then this little quilt that we have here is from Bali. I did get this probably like three years ago when I was traveling there. The pillows are a combination of World Market and Target. The little tapestry uh, woven thing is from World Market as well. And then to the left of my bed, right above the nightstand, I keep all of my jewelry hung up. For my rings, I use little wall hooks. And then for my necklaces, I use a little key holder. The same exact style key holder that we use for our keys in the entrance, I use for my necklaces. Um, and this is also from Coyoacan, Mexico. All of my jewelry, by the way, is from Junin Jewelry, a small business in San Diego. Our little nightstand is from Home Goods. And then on top of our nightstand, I have a little Oracle deck more crystals, a little sage essential oil diffuser, some sage and dried flowers, selenite candle holder, more crystals, a little bit more jewelry, a photo of Chansey and I. <laughs> that's it, that's everything that's on our nightstand. We, we also keep a few things down there. It's quite messy right now though, so. <laughs> and then next to our nightstand, we have another fiddle leaf um, plant. This one is thriving. The basket that it's in is from Target. And the actual plant itself is from the Hillcrest Farmer's Market on Sundays. Last thing I want to say about our bedroom is that since we don't have a closet, and as you guys can see, we don't have any drawers or dressers, we decided to do like a makeshift kind of dresser. So instead of a dresser, we have little woven baskets to put some of our folded clothes in, like our pajamas, t-shirts, stuff like that that doesn't have to be hung up. So yeah, that's basically everything. One more thing actually, I just saw in the corner of my eye, it's all our crystals that are on my window seal. I love having crystals on window seals because it gets all that beautiful sunlight and also when there's a full moon, it's perfect to leave them on the window seal. So yeah, that finally wraps up the bedroom. And that wraps up pretty much everything in our apartment. I hope you guys enjoyed and make sure to give this video a like if you did enjoy it. To subscribe for more videos, I typically share our vegan food stuff, so if you're interested in that, definitely subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!